Hey yo together and very welcome to the start of two crazy replays today on King Zhejiang Letter Edition with a TVP. Oh yeah, and I think I remember that one, but I'm not quite sure. I don't want to spoil anything, but it has to be a good one, I guess, or a fun one. Anyways, spawning in the top left hand side corner of King Zhejiang Letter Edition. Oopsie, it is the blue Protoss static. And he's playing against me, the Red Terran, in the bottom right hand side corner for Pro Kings, Alex Sasha. And I think I need to turn down the uh, sounds a little bit here. Yep, the overall sounds. Okay. Yep, yeah, there we go. Still, the old overlay for some reason. Thank you, Blizzard. Um, yeah, so far standard stuff, gas Rex, and he's going into, oh, Ooh. pylon, gate, gas, no, I think that's standard, yeah, and the probe scout, of course, okay, so let's see if he gets the nexus soon or not, we will see, ah, uh, there should be a nexus really soon, we got the money, but he goes for another pylon. Okay, interesting, interesting. That's that's quite something. Normally he could go for the Nexus right now. Or maybe mm, I don't know. No wait, it's a little bit too early. I'm not quite sure about Protoss timings. I, I haven't played too much. He is going for a salad. And a cybernetics core. Yeah, but still no, this is this is unusual. I think you go Pylon Gas Gate or Pylon Gate Gas. And then Nexus. Yeah, because this Nexus is not on point, look at that. My command center should never be earlier than his Nexus, so that's that's already unusual. And I will scout this. I will scout a salad. And that's really interesting. I scout the missing Nexus. Uh oh. The CV dies, and now I don't know anything. Oh, that's bad. But emergency bunker comes out already, so that's fine. There's the Nexus. So he's playing an, an older style, I would say. Heart of the Swarm like, but with adapts. The salad not moving across the map immediately. The Matter Shoot Core a bit late. Yeah, it's, it's strange. It's a little bit strange. But he still should be fine. Delayed the barracks a little bit, the factory. Like quite a lot, to be honest, because of all the panicking. Oh, the probe survives. Oh no, oh no, don't do it. Is he going for the pylons? Ah, it's just one pylon, but we'll get cancelled. Yeah, there we go. And there's the salad not doing too much. And because there's a bunker. Oh, he might lose the salad here. Nice micro on the marines. Bye bye. That was, that was wasteful. <laughs> that was so wasteful. And yeah, now he's in a lot of trouble. Um. Ooh, <laughs> I told you it's, it's gonna be a little bit funny. He gets on SCV for his trouble, so that's fine. As long as he doesn't lose the Mothership Core, uh, he's okay. He, it's okay. I mean, now it's one one pro. Ah, I can't show you, but it's one probe against one SCV, and he lost one. So that he's going for another Nexus. Oh wow! So he's completely freestyling here with Twilight Council. That's okay, Gateway, but it's, it's a third Nexus. Oh my goodness. And the Mothership Core so far out of position. Just imagine me going for th uh, three racks. He would be so dead. Even if he had a pilot, he would need to recall, and then he would have just one had one one photon overcharge. It's not enough, man. It's not enough. Uh, but he scouts. That's nice. And he might delay the starport by even more. Oh no! Oh no! He needs to be so careful. Ah, uh, he gets it, but recalls and takes a lot of damage. But he delays the starport by. Quite a lot, 10 seconds I would say, that's that's a lot. So Glaives and the Forge for him. If I remember correctly, Proto should get uh, the... <laughs> see serious? <laughs> should get the Nexus at 1.30 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh yeah, I think so. That's roughly the time where Protoss normally gets a Nexus with Pylon Gate Gas. At least he is having a good time, mm, but I'm not responding at all currently. Just full focus, 
if you if you have some some guys like this on the level in any game, just ignore them. Play your best, wreck them hard, and then you can start to smack talk back. So the adept gets a kill here, really nice. Uh, he goes in for a lot of adapts. So far I don't see any. Ah, and he loses the adapt though. Who is now the nub? The interesting thing is you should never lose adapts to non stimped marines. Because if you can see, marines move speed 3.15, adapts 3.5. So they are faster and they have the shade. Hello, how can you ever lose an adapt to a marine? Uh, without stim. Or medivates or anything, but you know. You get the idea. So, another star gate or gateway, rather. Uh, photon cannon. I don't know what he's hoping to do here. Uh, he got quite some adapts, but I got stilt marines <coughs> and stilt <coughs> <coughs> marines are very powerful, as you can see. Bye bye, pylon. He's out of position so hard, tries to evict the pros, but I kill all of those. And here come the adapts. And I can take on them, maybe? No, not really. So he saves the Nexus. <clears throat> and now it's looking not too bad for him, actually. Uh, the Nexus stays strong, just took a little bit of damage. The pilot died, three probes, one adapt, but he killed a lot of, a lot of marines here. And there's nothing back home, my macro is so bad. Oh no, there we go. Okay, more medics, more reinforcements, so maybe. Ah, oh, he's out of position again. And that's the problem. He's going now into, into Dark Templar, which is okay. Will he lose the Nexus? Not quite now. Okay, but the problem is... Um, there's the DT friend there. Is. He has no detection against the Widow Mines. And there is at least one Widow Mine in this force. More Widow Mines coming up. Liberator as well. And yes, adapts are pretty damn good, but... I don't know. Mm, this this could go so, so wrong. Worker wise, it's looking really good for me. So I am ahead, even though he has the third base. But I am ahead. I should take another base soon. Yeah, there we go. Because I'm heavily oversaturated at the third base. Uh, the natural, I mean. Oh no, you can't trade into the Widow Mine again. Oh no, please don't. Don't do this. Oh, massive mistake. Loses two adapts here for one Marine. That was... That was so bad. Uh, he has a pile in here. <laughs> he doesn't stop smack talking. He just doesn't stop. God, look at the production tab. I mean, he's just producing nothing. And that's because he has no probes. But... He has... Dark Templar and the wall is open. That's not good. F2, F2, oh no. I'm really busy at the moment. And will I be able to scan? Yes, but oh no. There's one Dark Templar. The wall, oh no. So here's one Dark Templar. Oh my goodness. This is disastrous. One scan here. Uh, the wall is closed now. Where's the second Dark Templar? There was another one in the main, I think. Ah, uh, not looking too good here. Now the Dark Templar died. Bunker is burning down. Ah, uh, Luther Stalker here, and another one. Fights in the Liberation Zones, that's not what you wanna do. Warps in more Dark Templar, Pile on Overtouch gets casted. A good scan! Ooh, need to be so careful. But yeah, it's the Dark Templar. I don't have any scans left currently. Oh, just one, okay. But it's okay. Ah, the Bunker! Hoo <laughs> Clutch repair. And there we go, lose another DT. And look at the resources he loses. And he can't do this because his income is so bad compared to mine. I'm still on on only two bases and my main base will be run dry soon. But still, it's looking okay for me. But I'm only on two marines here. And as, as long as he sends in just one Dark Templar at a time, maybe he can do something here. Oh, more liberation zones. Oh, so much freedom. And another scan, and no, that was wasteful. So wasteful. This one marine is MVP, man. Two kills, and I have one one against plus two, so it's equal in terms of uh, uh, upgrades. Oh, now he loses the pine, and the Venomine, ooh, so close. I think he might just lose soon. 
this Nexus. Uh, he doesn't have any Warp Prism. And without the Warp Prism, DTs are not that strong. So DTs and Warp Prism work so good together, you should always uh, pair them up for an attack or defense or whatever. But alone, you can see that they do nothing. Alone, you, you need a Warp Prism. Now he loses the Nexus. And his main base looks quite bad. It's 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 dry soon. And I can lift off. I'm Terran. I have I have here. Lift off. I can start, I can lift off with the orbital command, be fine, have a good time, take other bases. Uh this DT oh nice counter attack. This could No, this could do nothing. He still has no observer, so nothing against the Vidder Mines. If you would have Instead of flaming so much, concentrated on the game, maybe he would have had a chance to win. Oh, he might just lose the Mother's Record of the Cyclones. No, don't attack the Liberator! What the f- Wow! Misclick, hello. Wow, so bad. There's a scan. And, oh. and, and he, can't, he can't do anything. <laughs> That's not looking good for him. Static, you're in a lot of trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. Nice blink. Still takes some damage. Okay, but but how are you supposed to win? I have a good bioforce, nice medivac count, some liberation zones. There is a turret. Oh my god, <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> so dead. Oh yeah, those adepts die. He's so mad. I don't I don't get it. How can you get that mad in a game? I mean, I get mad if I lose to Circle Proto sometimes, yes, because everything feels imbalanced, even though it isn't, but it feels. But then still, flaming your opponent so hard doesn't do anything for you. So now he goes through the de debris, he's taking another base, but four bases on 48 probes, that's like 12 probes on each base, so no, that's, that's, not, that's not how it's supposed to be. So the hunt is on, plus two and one against only plus two. Uh, ooh. It's not looking healthy for him. He's taking the bases now. I mean, he needs to do something, but um, probably going into some kind of splash tag would have been better here. Like, I don't know. There you can see I lift off the orbital command from my main base to this fourth base and that that's good. What's an what's an Elgar? I don't know. I don't know what's an Elgar is. So take more bases for more scans pro potentially look at that. You you can't harass this. No way. Or this. Without Stalker? With Adepts? No, not really. It's nope. Nope, nope, nope. And still no splash tag. Now the M Temple Arc is on the way, but I think it's way too late for him. Way too late. So, going through the debris, and the problem is now I can also kill the Dark Templar Shrine, so that's good for me, the Photon Cannon's not doing too much here. Uh, interesting scan, and here he comes for an attack, I might just be forced to evac this base, he might go into some kind of base trade, and I don't have much at home to defend, so, hmm. Interesting, those command centers are not finished, so I don't have too many scans. Lots of Dark Templar are moving into this uh, through the debris, probably, but yeah, Bunker good unit. And I don't know, another scan kills DTs, I guess. And he can't do much here. He's going around and taking out something, but this bunker. Ah, will it be repaired in time? Yes, it will. <laughs> no chance. Wow, turn bunker is so good. With repair, no chance. No chance. And yeah, the Nexus falls, the main base. I think that's it for him. He's he's probably gonna die soon. Look at the supplies. I don't know what lag has done to him, because you can't really micro DTs too much. Yeah. That's that's definitely that's definitely the reason. Here. It's not because he played bad or he had or because of his flaming, no no, it's because of lag. And I'm a hacker of course.
Okay, interesting, interesting game here. Uh, TVP with lots of DTs. So he took a lot of bases but never saturated them properly. I mean, yeah, in the end, but not early enough. And he never went into splash early enough, so. Never went into Robo. I, I don't know how you can play Protoss on Master League nouveau. Skill, level, whatever. Without going for a robotics facility. How, how, how does this work? I mean, you don't have detection, basically. You, you, okay. Again, against Zerg, maybe I can see it. May maybe, but still. Even if you don't need detection, you want to know. Is there a drop coming? What is my opponent doing? And so on. But yeah, all right. Whatever. That's it for today, guys and ladies, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey, oh there! Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback, or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day, take care, bye bye.